Hey, are you ready for a whiskey quickie with Still Austin? Let's go. Hey everybody, this is Mark from Northwest Bourbon back again with another great whiskey review for you. Quickie style with Still Austin. This is a cast strength picked by Nancy Fraley, the nose herself. This cast strength, 118 proof bourbon whiskey. Now, I wish it told me more information on the bottle because I know Nancy has done multiple picks from them to get their cast strength bourbons together, but I don't know if this is a certain batch, a certain year, a certain barrel. It has none of that type of information on the bottle. So if I was gonna give them any consumer suggestions so far is I would like some more of that information on the bottle. But let's get into the whiskey. I'm doing a fresh crack with you here, guys. Taking off the and pouring the first shot into the affinity bottle and pour the next shot to review. Ooh, a nice healthy shot. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, it's got a nice color to it. Ooh, that has a really distinct smell to it. Why is the first thing I'm thinking of is pecan pie? This smells like dark, roasted deliciousness. After that pecan pie note, there's like a dark, deep, crusty, almost bitter, like charred note in there. But it smells really inviting. Let's get into it, guys. Cheers. Wow. All right, so the first sip evolved multiple times as I sipped it. That was that was a roller coaster. I gotta go in for the second one now that I'm a little more acclimated. Hold on. Man, this guy is all over the place because it's got the sweet notes that translate from the nose to the palate of the like burnt, crusty pecan pie. Uh, there's some nuts, there's some char, there's some caramel. There's some pie crust, but on the middle of the palate, there's like a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of that tobacco bitterness back there as well. The finish is a nice long finish, very satisfying, uh, but the flavor notes in the finish in the back of the palate are nothing like the front of the palate. It's complicated and it's interesting, and I'm already saying that this is a buy again, because I mean, this was what, like 60, it was 60 something dollars, like between 60 and 70 dollars at my local Total Wine, just sitting on the shelf, and it tastes like nothing else on my bar. It's a higher proof, 118 proof, lots of complex flavors going on, and definitely something I'm gonna reach for when I'm in the mood for something different, something dark, intense, and high proof. This is the kind of thing I want when I'm in that kind of a mood. And so next time I'm out and about and I see one for around the same price point, I'm going to pick it up. The only thing I wish I would know when I do pick it up is if it's from a different batch than this one because they don't give me any of that information on the bottle. I might be able to taste the difference, but it'd be nice to have that info. If you've had anything from Still Austin before, would you please put it down in the comments and let us know what it was and what you thought about it. And if you like these type of videos, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you being here and watching along in this journey as I try Still Austin for the first time. Earn, protect, enjoy. Cheers.